That was, look, that movie gets a lot of hate. I enjoy that movie. And the marketing with Taco Bell was some of the best crossover marketing ever. <laughs> and I will not hear any slander. Okay? It's the Chihuahua. Okay? And he's like, here, lizard, lizard, lizard. And he's got like a box of like chalupas. And it's fucking fantastic. Taco Bell dog needs to come back. I think he's dead. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome, horrible people, to the Horrible Opinions Podcast, where we're all having a horrible time continuing to watch these <laughs> horrible movies. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, as always, I'm your horrible host, uh, taking you to Manhattan. Maybe we'll get there, maybe we'll not. Kenny? I'm your mysterious lake that's secretly connected to the ocean, Daniel. I'm your big... Not able to swim, boy, trapped in a slasher body, Ryan. Oh. Just waiting for some sewage to set me free. I guess. Set me free. And if you haven't guessed it yet, because we don't want to, you know, knock your head off with all these hints here, we are today watching Friday the 13th, part 8. Jason takes Manhattan. And, like, he hangs out with, like, the Sex and the City girls. And the and Teenage Mutant Ninja pizza. Turtles. Yeah. Uh, you know, he becomes Super Shredder. I'm pretty sure I heard him <laughs> say, hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. He gets into it real good. And you know what? He's a heckin' good swimmer. And maybe he's a little bit racist. And I'll explain that but later. He hates, <laughs> he hates a rape. He does hate a rape. We can all agree. A rape is bad. He might not even like drugs. Hey, man, killing him? That's cool. Raping Jason, him? Not cool. Jason is the community watch we deserve? We need? Not not what we want. Qu not what we want. No. Also, he might not. He might just like not like any sex, though. Oh. For being clear. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. But, like, he, di he dislikes rape a little bit. He's extra. not as cool as I thought. Never mind. Now, look, I had a feeling we were in for a bad time with this one because I've been checking the run times as we go. They get shorter we have a, or do they get longer? We have a jump in this one. Yeah, <laughs> well, it could the fucking movies seem to tell. Look, they look they get they get more ridiculous and I, I seem to like vaguely recall that making them better, but if we recall from yesterday's episode, we hit rock bottom and we go from hitting rock bottom to, <laughs> to now uh, we're the core. Have... You ever see that movie The Core? That's what's oh, under the rock bottom. <laughs> This one jumps to 100 minutes. It's tied for the longest runtime. I don't know what version Ryan ended up watching this time in China, because his runtimes differ sometimes. Freddy vs. Jason and this are tied for 100 minutes. Yeah, but that's like a movie, though. That is a movie. You, If you guys paid attention to my notes, like you sometimes slide in there, there's a part where I'm like, how does this still have 40 minutes left? This movie oh, should be done in the next like when, 15 when to the, 20. When they get off the boat, that's when there's 40 minutes left. It's... Pretty close. I, I, I paused I, it, and it was like 40 yeah. minutes left. And I feel like... And then I had to go take a walk around my house to just contemplate how I got into this situation where I have to watch this. What bad decisions led me here? Poor poor life decisions. decisions. <laughs> I think it's because someone's like, we got a great title here. Jason takes Manhattan. Great. Well, okay, let's write a movie about him going to Manhattan. No, we actually already started writing the movie. We're just going to give it that title. But <laughs> but he's going to get a Manhattan, right? Well, but I already finished my movie. What? Oh, shit. You know what? We just sprinkle in a little bit. We go on a little extra adventure after the movie's over. Ah, <clears throat> ah. How great would it have been? Okay, this would have changed the whole movie. Get on their little ro the rowboat, and they make it to shore, and they get off, and they're like, they feel all safe and stuff. And then the credits start rolling. And then about halfway through the credits, it cuts back. And that's when he fucking comes out of the water. And then we do another 40 minutes. See, that would have been good. I would have been like, yeah, fooled you. Okay. I would have turned, been, I would've I would've turned it off, though. But <laughs> that, Yeah, that would have been an interesting moment. However, the movie, other than that, the movie would still be what it is. I mean, it's true. But at least they would have like this little wink and a nod, little, you know. Poking the brown eye. Be like, if you want to leave the theater now, you can <laughs> and should. Should you wish to stay for the full runtime of your paid ticket, be forewarned. Not much will happen, warned. but a lot of teleporting, 
A lot of head rolling. A lot of teleporting. Oh, God. Yeah, they just don't even fucking care in this one, do they? They don't even try. Oh, my God. He's transferred his teleportation powers to the boat. He teleported that, that he boat. Okay, let's out of let's the get lake. into this, Daniel. Let's get into this. <laughs> okay. okay, let's just. Oh, okay, um, Daniel. First off, we uh, set us up, Daniel. What? Where are we at the beginning of this movie? Crystal Lake, right? <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Or, yes. He says we're there. Yes, because at the bottom of the at the bottom of unless they move Jason's body, like they dredged it up and moved it to a different location. Well. They would have had to move the dock that was collapsed. Hey, you on move him everything too, that's on still... him because you know he's like a it's like a natural historic artifact. You want to don't want to damage anything. You, you want to preserve, preserve it. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> We're all in okay. Agreement. Of course. In that case, it's like a lake museum. Hmm. Like a natural lake museum, probably one that you would like put like rare fish in, right? Oh, hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Now, Kenny, at what point did Crystal Lake have? The ability to have like full size, I'll, I'll call it a small yacht on it. Yeah, it's a good sized boat. So that happened around the same time they decided they were going to run a massive fucking, what was that, like a fiber <laughs> Elect- cable? Yeah, big old lake. electrical cable. <laughs> yeah, something the like that. they it, need uh, that and for? a big thick boy because you got to, look, you got to power that camp, man. That camp that nobody uses anymore because everyone dies every time they go there. And when you they were laying that. that down, they didn't notice the, the dead Jason. Oh, God. No, they, because I, I was thinking about that. I don't think they, do you think they just, like, get it all across something and then they just let it go? No, because no, what if it hits some, like a, th- like a rock, that's like, like a, not a rock, but like a, like a, a turtle. Like an uh, underwater s- Like an underwater scissor. rock. Like an underwater rock. And it's gonna, it's gonna land on it. It's gonna be fine, because those things are fucking durable. I don't think the anchor of that boat is gonna tear it. No, there's, there's gonna be some divers, like, double checking. Holy divers. De- double checking that. You would check the environment. Uh oh. It'll be down too long in the midnight sea. <laughs> you would check oh, the environment. Oh, what's becoming of Daniel? He's powered down. And someone show him a pin in one, one side of the screen and then tap Vulcan neck pins him on the neck oh, on the God. other. You would do like an environmental uh, study to make sure you're not fucking up any of the ecology by putting that thing there. Oh, they don't okay. care back then. There's no ecology. Did you guys look at the link, any of the links I sent during my watch no. last night? No. So there's one where this person has meticulously gone around and mapped the lake, and he's went and dr- like found the actual lakes they shot at in each movie, and how fucking different they are and whatnot. So he does his best to kind of line up all these key events around the lake, where everyone's house is and whatnot, and the river. I was trying to do a separate Google search to kind of see, like, okay... Is there a lake up there connected to what's the big river up there? All I could think of was the Hudson. So uh, the Chonawuga. Hmm. So the Chesapeake. The, my complaint was like, how the fuck did we get a yacht into that lake? Like Ryan was saying, but the massive yacht wasn't on the lake necessarily. We had the smaller boat that. Right. So but I'm like, OK, that boat possibly, was big, too, though, for like a lake that it, for a pond. Well, in some of like there are boats about that size out on like the lake of the ozarks but lake of the ozarks is fucking massive it is and we don't they never pin down how deep and like big Crystal no they lake do is. i've seen i've seen all sides of it oh so it's like our lake okay yeah I yeah, think, yeah it's smaller than our lake i think what has happened sometimes we have so the small boat that we find on this lake so we know the technology exists to move a boat that size on sure, it's on, possible yeah yeah on a flatbed or something like a big old truck. Yeah, yeah. To, so that so let's say to defend this movie that that's how the boat got onto the lake, and then after Jason kills, I think it's Jim and Susie who both have great hair, beautiful they do hair, have great hair, beautiful yeah, yeah. '80s hair. Are we still in the '80s or is this the '90s? This is '88. This was '89. Oh. I said '88 though. '89 is a better year. <laughs> so then someone comes along, puts the boat back on a on a truck takes it to a harbor <laughs> but Jay- it's a scene we never see it's a scene we never see or was shot or was even thought about and jason kills that person and that's why that boat is just floating out there derelict and then jason who hasn't liked the water really goes back into the water and that's when he climbs up into the love boat so uh flawless yeah there's a lot that has to go with that i'm just gonna say no it's river fed and the river it's, it's a fairly substantial river and that boat is big we just gotta hope there's not any really like like there's big old fucking hold on like wait tow boats if, on like the missouri river 
if the ri if that lake is could also connected to a river, what water is fe is like pooling in the lake to make it a lake? Otherwise, the so, water would all be running out into the ocean. There's natural lakes, man. I don't that are look, also connected going, to rivers that well, okay, lead so to goes, the ocean. Uh, he goes upstream the river, and then he, he can't hits do a that. The anchor's major, down. Well, he knows how to pull up the anchor. No, he doesn't. He's a heckin' good boat He guy. spent a lot of time underwater. He's seen boats go across him, to yeah. and fro, you know. So, here, yeah, he has to go up I spend a lot of time in a out. car. Doesn't mean I know how it works. <laughs> that, that's true. Well, you're just not Jason Voorhees, are you? And this is like, this is like, this lake, Crystal Lake's fed by, like, let's say a Missouri River, okay? And then you go up the Missouri, and then he connects to the Mississippi River, and then rides that out to the... And along the way, he stumbles across... Huck, friends, and has a great Finn adventure. And, uh, Tom yeah. Sawyer. Tom for, Sawyer. For, for the sake of this location, though, uh, we'll say one of the rivers is the Hudson, and we'll say the other one's like the Ernie. Okay. Yes, okay. So he goes up the Ernie <laughs> yep. and back down the Hudson. Okay. And then now he's, what's uh, the Block Island sound? He ends up out there. Is that what they call that? that, uh, that the movie uh, never tells us, so it doesn't really matter. Well, like the, that, that body of water near... In, in between like all the new york stuff i'm gonna look it up make sure i said that right so i don't sound more ignorant than usual. okay i know i said maybe in part four that i enjoyed that we were now having we added an element of a family to this series i i would like to rescind that and i don't want which one part which four one is part with four? Corey hames oh okay Fel no feldman feldman the felds feldster that's when he goes britney and hits <laughs> yeah it's, it's Brittany, Jason bitch. on the head with the machete. That's part four. It is Brittany, bitch. I liked it in that movie. I, I don't want to see any more family drama in my Friday the 13th movies. I, I got burned out on part seven with, with Tina and her mom and the doctor. I just don't want it anymore. And now I'm getting that it. Abusive daddy. And now I'm getting it again with two teachers to paradise. Pack your bags. We'll ride a boat. Yeah, I just couldn't be bothered and, to care. And some kind of orphan girl. No, one of the teachers is her uncle. But her guardian now. She is an orphan. Yeah. yeah, her parents died in a snow tragic snow plow accident. That's yeah, true. It's real tragic. real tragic. They weren't the only ones to die that day. That snow plow was working its way down. <laughs> Had to clear the roads, Daniel. <laughs> so here's the thing. This series is bad. finds something it likes. Not not even anything good. It finds something it likes and it just keeps fucking doing it. You guys notice how I think in almost every single one of these since we've had Crispin Glover, they've been trying to find a Crispin Glover type to throw in there? Like that's their who, that's the thing. Who is the Crispin Glover type in this one? Wayne. Is that the movie guy? That's the movie guy. Yeah, okay, I see it. And there was another guy in the last one where I'm like, "Hmm, I bet they would have liked Crispin Glover for that. They could have kept bringing him back. I'd have been okay with that." Sure. And then they wait they wasted Kelly who in this one? I'm not okay with that. I don't know who that is. You? Who? That was the no killing me. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. The only Asian in the movie. No, I'm tr yeah, but I'm trying to remember what her character name was in the movie. It was something Watanabe because everyone had to use the name Watanabe, I guess, for the '80s or something. Well, I swear Japan to God, was big in the '80s. No, it's still a small place. <laughs> well, I don't it's think growing the country all the time. has expanded, but no, volca it's volcanic, so new land all the time. You know. Uh, look, okay. Let's, yes, so we got our two lovers on a little boat, well, a littler boat, but still a big boat with great hair. They got a ship in a bottle. They love each other. That immediately makes shirts come off. We get boobs right at the start of the movie. I think that's, oh, oh, is that the only pair we see? In the, the no, we get pair. one more later. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. How old are they supposed to be? High school. High school. Okay. So this is problematic for us. <clears throat> Not for everyone else? <laughs> Just us. <laughs> Just us? Just so. I don't put, you know... I don't put I don't, uh, our yeah, problems I don't want to speak people. for other people, you know. Okay. Yeah. I think it's the <laughs> earliest we get boobage in. These are the one of these. phrasing on that one, yeah. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Like, hey, let's hook, let's get them in their seats early. Well, then I didn't know how early it was because we just spent an hour wandering through New York City in this opening with some like heckin' good and tunes. It's good, good tunes, and I like, I like dirty, I like dirty, dark New York. I miss it. I wonder if they filmed, like, shitty part of St. Louis again for New York like they did in Escape from New York. Like, you're not allowed... I'm pretty sure it's illegal to film New York looking like this nowadays. Probably. Yeah, we're, show, we're showing all these great spots in New York, and I'm like, man, we can't wait to see Jason walking around there. 
I mean, he can encounter all our favorite New Yorkians. He could fight the Ghostbusters. He could he can meet Pardue. He could fight Casey Jones. They could have a hockey mask battle. Yeah. Look, it's fine. So, okay. He we, could fight America's sh- Mayor, Rudy Giuliani. Look, that dude's dripping with toxic waste. So I think <laughs> I think Judy Giuliani wins. We get they drag their little anchor because you know you got to do heckin' good boat stuff, and it slices that cable we're talking about, and then it electrocutes our it's Frankenstein's like monster at this point, Jason. Electricity again, boring. He that's that's how we keep bringing him back and boring. Him. Well, that, I, we tried to kill him, but yeah, Frankenstein's monster. That's all he is, which is still technically a zombie, right? It's a reanimated corpse, yeah. Or is it more of a ghoul because he has some sort of ghouls have a master? He's masterless. Yeah, but ghouls also have more of a thought process than a zombie. Like, like ghouls are afraid of fire. I'm, I'm trying to get me a ghoul friend right now, and it's tough. You know, it's tough. And out I hate there. ghouls, and I hate people's knees. And then, of course, we have to introduce how Jadar is going to get his mask back. So then, fucking boyfriend comes back and does a scare with a fake knife and stabs his girlfriend with a fake knife because that's a great way to endear yourself to your partner. She doesn't like that. They're, they're I mean, she wasn't on. that bothered by it, because then she let him stab her for realsies. Yeah, because yeah, they're his, getting it on. With his, but then, with his penis. Yeah. And then she yells out uh, Jadar's name. And that's not the first <laughs> time a lady's called out Jadar's <laughs> name by mistake during the lovemaking. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> Some of and us have, apparently. The f- I don't know. <laughs> well, this is where we get the first instance of something this movie does for some reason. Half the victim's... Just fucking freeze and sit there and die. Oh, yeah, so, the dude froze. Well, it's easier yeah, to there. film if they don't move. Yeah. It's more. It's well, more also efficient. like the his blood flow. It was not in his legs, so he couldn't run. Ah, oh, he's he had dead legs, sea legs, and sex legs yeah. combined. They're yeah, CX legs, and that's not good. He dies. He deserved it. And then oh yeah, Jason mi- misses with a spear gun while they're in bed. Which, he's a bad shot. Yeah, I don't think he missed. He did it on purpose. Which, that's another thing with this one. So, she runs away. He does a kill on this guy, which was it just, uh, I forget how he killed him. He, pulled, he like, stabbed him with something and pulled out some ropey intestines. Yeah. No, that's what it was. Yeah. So, no, I think that was the, the tubing from the spear gun or something that he was holding. No. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, she goes and hides in a little hidey hole. Okay. Jason walks around. Eventually, he's like, well, guess she's in this hidey hole. Opens up. She's sitting there. She says no. Okay. To be clear. That's true. And he doesn't listen. He takes the little harpoon from the spear gun, or the spear, I guess. I don't know what it is. I'm not nautical. And he slowly yeah, starts lowering it's... it down to her. And I'm like, okay, I got a problem with this. Just because m- move. This is, this is some... Fight back. Well, she can't really... I mean, she could try to bolt, but... Just push, push, it. Just push it to the side. <laughs> but has, has at any point in time in the series Jason done anything except for just kind of outright killing him? Like, has he played with them like in person like is he like slowly no, killed them no as he... this is a weird this is a weird pr- saving private ryan moment where it's like shh, right. shh, shh just pushing the knife oh. into, and i'm like what oh, okay. what is this yeah i had the same thought so, too kenny yeah i don't like i don't like that he's getting something out of the kill rather than just killing why like, didn't he has she an just urge to kill. leave the boat because she can't swim it's cold in that water can't swim in this a lot of people go on boats and can't swim but like she could see the shore it's, it's right dangerous there. to swim at night daniel but it's right mm. there. But yeah, that slow, like, eh, stab, she's dead. And then we cut to two other ladies with nice hair. Actually, I think they use the same stylist because their hair, like their perm. Well, that would make sense. Perms. You would probably have the same stylist for everyone on the movie. Maybe. Maybe maybe they all just had their moms do it, though. You don't know. Some of these movies seem like just high school side theater projects. I don't know. Look. She gets a sick fountain pen. Who used that fountain pen in high school, guys? Stephen King. Claimed to have been used by yes. Mr. King himself. Now, did she mean that one specifically or that kind? That, that one specifically. That one specifically. Also, she had a really cool vest. It was colorful. It was vesty. And she had a good dog. Is that Toby? And this is our... <laughs> Toby the dog? It's Toby. This, it's is, Toby the, this dog. is the cute Another... dog alert. Weedle, cute dog. Weedle. Justin. And what's her name? Is it Rennie? Who cares? Or Susie? Rennie. Rennie. There's Rennie. There's Colleen, who I think is her teacher. And then Charles, who is her uncle, uncle teacher, principal. He also says no later. He succumbs for a second, but God. So that's the introduction of them in the car. We are at a 
larger cruise style ship. Still not actually massive, but maybe it's. I mean, it's not like a it's not like a carnival cruise. What do you think like, it would be? It's a yacht. You think it'd be big enough to fit like a T Rex on it? Like if you were to put it in the cap in like the hold. I think if you try, at least a baby. What's a baby's T Rex sound like? Don't put. Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. They're not the mama. Oh. So apparently our setup is we have a, a high school class of seniors, which if this is all the seniors, it's not a very big school, but then it must be a very rich private school, yeah, rich though, school because yeah. we got money these, for this. These are the ones who could afford the ticket, senior crews. Right? Yeah. Well, and we are, you know, the principal uncle's like, what is she doing here? I'm her guardian. Like, well, then tell her to go home, man. I mean, you you are her guardian. Just like, nah, we ain't leaving with you. Go home. But whatever. We cut to the the bridge, and we've got the captain and his is it first mate Picard or which one is it? It's uh, it's probably one of the lady ones, just dressed up as an old the white Jane dude. way. Yeah, no way. Yes way. And he decides like, well, here you go, son. You're the new captain now. The first mate's like, ah, like, <laughs> hold on. I I don't think. And then, you know, I'm looking at the new captain, and I'm like, look at this short king. Like, he doesn't look very big. He's a little dude. And he fucks it up. He says some good things, and then he forgets. Well, it, and then the guy goes through the stuff that he forgot, and I'm like, you also forgot the anchor. Yeah, you should probably also, pull that did they, up. Did they also, like, take down the, like, gangplank? No, and, he like, didn't mention that either. Yeah, so, like, they're still attached. This captain the thing, is not qualified either. I think he's drunk. <sighs> They didn't even, like, he didn't even pull the horn thing. That's the best part of Captain is to pull the fucking horn thing. No, he pulled thing. the horn I, thing. No, the the old man pulled the horn thing. I was saying, oh, you're talking about the the real Captain sucks, too. Yeah, yeah he, they all Yeah, suck. he missed all that stuff, too. And he tells, he tells his first mate later, you, you got a, you know, 17-month-old son. Don't push him too hard. Well, you shouldn't push a 17-month-old anyway. Well, I, walk. Literally or physically. Walk, you little Fuck. shit. We jogging now. Now, get a job. We get a sense that this boat is a good size, but like not like amazingly huge. But then we have this inner workings area that we go to that has this like massive like three levels of like just stairs and all the inner workings. Steam. And it looks steam like looks like we are walking down to like the bowels of hell like that looks massive. Way bigger than the boat actually is, but let's say you know they just didn't show us all the areas of the boat. So it's like an iceberg. Is... Most of it that you don't see most of it. Most of it's underwater. Hmm. It's just the tip. Yeah, you just see the tip of it. How many crew members do you think you need to actually operate that safely? More than two? Oh, there were three. We have. There's actually, actually there's four. four. There are oh, four. Oh, that's yeah. right. There is the doomsayer on the boat, isn't there? Well, there's doomsayer. Oh, that's the one. The you handsome forgot. guy. Uh, the, the captain, captain guy and I then forgot. this, and then this ship second and command guy yeah, see i was right more than two. Uh, son of a bitch he got us the handsome guy i i was talking about the three and then the handsome guy got shot and i'm like oh well there's three now like literally right after i said it he got shot i don't even remember uh wayne shot him that'll happen when he lost his glasses yeah yeah he fell in it so short king is a shit captain he runs away all like angsty jadar jadar knows we're leaving because we see jadar's boat cruising by with the blood on it and that's where our doomsayer sees i i wish there was a shot of the doomsayer watching jason do a sick climb up the side of the so yacht then him saying that we this, see him so then him saying this voyage is doomed would actually like make sense instead of just yeah, randomly just saying it you're all gonna die well, it's like well i see an empty boat rolling by hmm. or maybe he well, just says that on every voyage <laughs> it's this one's this doomed. one's doomed, guys. Set the expectations low god damn it why doesn't he immediately get off the boat? Oh, because he needs that money for his family. He needs that money. But they're all going to die. No one's going to bother him. Or is he just hedging his bets? You know how many... Maybe not this time. It's He never... Look, they're all doomed. He never dies. Other people might, but he's fine. So that's like... That's our, that, that's our setup. We see, ja we see Jason climb onto the ship, which again, this is the same... One of the same problems I have with the last movie. Maybe it's just a thing where they like to show Jason more with Kane Hodder. But we see a lot of Jason stalking around, and I think that's not the right way to go especially when we have him start teleporting even more right, in this it's one so like a snake roaming through hogwarts you're kind of like how come no one sees you doing this well the doomsayer did i just wanted them to show us him seeing it because that would have been hilarious so now what well, we get some montage action everyone's having fun on the boat the shuffleboard some kids have guns shooting you know doing some skeet shooting some clay pigeons 
and then we get the we cut back to what we say her name was Rennie in her room with the good dog. <laughs> no, Rennie is talking to the short king. Short king gives her a little uh, pendant thing with the Statue of Liberty on it. Yeah, so first off, he didn't know she was coming. He specifically says that. But then he says, I got you a present. And then it's a gift that you would buy at the place that you're going. So who the f- first off, he didn't know she was coming. So I, I got you a gift. Nah, he's going to give it to another lady. Yeah, he's just that's right. I think the character's so, name is Sean, by the way. Yeah, uh, Short King Sean. Short King Secondly, Sean. Secondly, who, who buys someone a souvenir before they actually get to the place they're going like the point is a souvenir comes from the place like i can get on amazon i can order you something you know that you could find in hawaii and be like here i got you a souvenir like no you didn't you bought me something online dickhole it's to tell us the audience look it's the statue of liberty it's just like you were in new york and manhattan right in case we don't get there in case that doesn't <laughs> case happen get- it's uh, yeah <laughs> look it's, it's, well, it's this is what we mean when we say he took manhattan he went to a novelty shop and he took a pooter necklace. Look at this. Well, it, it says right here on the IMDb, the original title was Jason Takes a Trip to Manhattan. And they just took it out because that didn't sound as that good. Takes I too made many, that that's up. Too many that's, what it, that's what it fucking should have said. Or what was our alternative title, right? Jason Takes a Cruise. Jason Takes a Cruise. Because that's all it fucking is. And that's where it should have ended. I would have been happier with it if it ended there. And then, okay, now we meet our creepy camera dude, Wayne, who's the Crispin Glover type. And he's shooting a little music video of oh what was her name guitar girl she was cool as heck though she was guitar cool girl. was that jj was it I feel like JJ. It was jj i think it's jj and she had uh, she had a heckin cool guitar doing some sick uh guitar licks she had cool oh, look i like the hair in this. everything about her she was has cool hair yeah let's not waste her kill her early doing sick guitar stuff um then she tells wayne hey man don't be a don't be a simp for this other chick man she's just trying to use you and i'm like i think wayne's just trying to get his dicky sticky so he doesn't really care either i don't think he's trying to marry her he straight up says oh but she's gorgeous or well yeah shit. but he later like, tells her he, he had a crush on her since middle school man that's like forever dude he said sophomore years that was two years ago oh he says sophomore never mind dude <laughs> yeah. what a simp i take he's back been what repeating I said. for a little bit though so it could be <laughs> It's yeah. longer than what we think. Uh, he's, he's, look, he's a film student. He's taken okay. a couple right. of victory laps. But she would have to be Most repeating too, unless he saw her when she was in middle school. Yes, this and, makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, he's a groomer. Wayne is problematic. Very problematic. I mean, this, this reading of Wayne that we just came up with is problematic. I agree. No, he's, he's know, a problematic he's also, character. He's a youth minister who, you know, he married his girlfriend of four years when she turned 18. What's wrong with that? He's 37. Yeah, but you go back to like the, the olden times with the, you know. <laughs> Are you bringing up the Game of Thrones defense? <laughs> Is that the Game oh, of Thrones God. defense? I, th- I, I mean, I've, you can call it that. I just called I'm it okay that. with that. I've just given uh, it that name. It's the Game of Thrones defense. Back in the old days. You know, back in the old days, we did things the right way. When we would have duels in the street. And, and when, like. When and you married a lady, would come and she, you, she would pelts. give you things like a cow and land the way it should be. You want to? You want to see my little finger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whip it out. Uh, well, there it is. There. Well, it's not that little. Actually, it does look freakishly small. What's wrong? It's. Uh, I never gave it its vegetables. Mine looks normal. Yours kind of looked like this. And so is JJ the first one who gets murdered on the boat? Yeah. Yeah, she is. So JJ goes off into the bowels of the boat, and she's like, man, this place is aching for a music video. She's so she shredding start- on her guitar. I think Stranger Things kind of stole a little bit from here. For to sure. To be and honest. I, couldn't, I think that was the song that I Shazam wasn't picking up. Like, I got the I got the earlier song that was like in the, I think, the Manhattan fly-through, which was pretty good. I sent you guys that. That was The Darkest Side of Night by Metropolis, which that's a banger. Look that up. So uh, look, the music has improved. We got some uh, some some big, if, you know, uh, the big music songs. would have been improved if there had been no lyrics. I thought the lyrics were appropriately bad in a fun way. I don't think they were bad in a fun way. I think they were just bad. Hmm, just like you too, just bad. You too? Yeah, the band. 
this is where <laughs> this is where we've lost the entire <laughs> audience of YouTube fans. Yeah. I apologize for Uh-oh. Kenny's very poor taste in music. YouTube is very popular. Where the streets have no names. Uh, it's great. Yeah, we and come YouTube on. is very bad. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. Mm. Are you telling me you're a YouTube fan? That's gross, Ryan. You are old though, so that makes sense. You guys didn't have much choice back then. Oh no, that's a lie. There was lots of things you could have chose that were better than U2. Name U3. Three. three. Okay. Scorpions. I like Scorpions. The Animals, They're not the band. F- Twisted Sister. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Motley Crue. Weird Al's always Meatloaf. Weird Al's always been around, so yeah. Weird Al's been around forever. You could like multiple things. It doesn't have to no, be a binary you choice. Yeah, really, the thing, no, you but, can't though. No, you don't have but to. You don't, you don't have, have to, to be a Jason Voorhees. You can, you can, you can like many things, not just killing well, camp yeah, counselors. Yeah, but you also don't have to like. Well, he's not even killing camp things. counselors. That's what. He, that's all he sees in his mind. Oh, We're all why did he leave him. the? So normally he kills people in and around the lake. He didn't realize boats left. Yeah, he didn't realize. He thought. Oh, body of water. This body of water equals all body of water. Because somebody Boy, else this moved lake the really boat. Opens up. He thought he was still on the lake, and he was just upgrading. To a bigger boathouse, but on the same body of water. He doesn't know where he is. Oh, this lake, uh, someone, someone pissed in the lake. Oh, this is so salty that's as why shit. when he go when he gets like in the middle of like New York and looks up at all the, the big signs and stuff, he's like, oh shit. Should have learned how to read. Mom was right. <laughs> <laughs> huh. What's that sign say? Camp Crystal Lake. Hey, still here. Oh, they all say it. <laughs> <laughs> I must have slept for a long time this time. They really uh, developed this area. <laughs> oh, fuck. So we get our first real teleport because she's down there shredding on her she ass. She drops which, the guitar yeah, so at one spot. Yeah, on one level. And then she runs immediately down. And then she gets down there and Jason Jadar is already there with, with her the guitar, guitar. Yeah. And does a, you know, guitar, an axe Does kill. a whack. Yeah. I would have been so happy if that guitar became his, like, permanent weapon for the rest of the fucking series like he walked around with a guitar instead of like a machete okay i'm just saying so uh it's a beautiful purple guitar anyway she's dead so we've killed our best character no the we dog's the best character yeah toby 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 we go we jump to see the happy toby on the on the on the bed with what's her face rennie rennie and they're they're chit-chatting and then jadar is Let's see. He's happy. She's chatting. Like we're gonna go on an adventure. We're gonna, yeah, you know, we're gonna get out there. Is this where she's? We get our first glimpse of a, a little boy. She sees a ghost, and the dog sees the ghost too. Yeah, right. So this is my thought. This is how I'm justifying that. Okay. I'm like, first, I'm like, is is he seeing her delusions? But I'm like, no. Maybe she's seen inner Jadar this whole time. Although I was like, did her brother drown? Is that why she's scared of water? Like, no. She's seen inner Jason, but it was hard to tell because. He wasn't as deformed this early on. We kept getting further and further, and they'd show him more, and then he was more and more deformed. But I'm thinking she's seeing Jason, but she's seeing the little Jason. The dog is seeing literal Jason standing outside but the window. if Jason had been there, he would have gone in there and killed her. Possibly. He heard a noise over on the other side, and he's like, hmm, okay, I'll get back to you later. There's a noise over here. I'm gonna go check it out. N- Why? No. It's a ghost. Because... It's so he it's, um but, he sure does like noises. He does, but why can Rennie see a ghost boy Jason? Yeah, we don't ever uh, they wanted to do more. Maybe she's of the Tina bloodline or some shit. Well, Tina, well, okay. That's they we <sighs> have to have some sort of mental power chicks in these, I guess. Sure. But I <sighs> yeah, that was that was dumb, but he heard he heard the punching going on. He wanted to go like be a pervy girl like the other pervy girls. Watch the dudes down there punching. I don't think Julius. they were being pervy. Those girls they were up there like yes, they oh, were. God, yeah. They're not watching yeah, they the were... dudes in the shower. They're watching them just box. That would have come next yeah, but if they could have. Oh, for Maybe. sure. Because they're like, oh, that's the only senior I'd let like do me. Like ah, uh, and Julius, he's never lost. Like oh god, like they're sitting there like the thirsting over him. You roles reverse. Those are men up there. And I could be watching other men or women, doesn't matter. But the way they're talking, no. They are they are perving hard on them boxing dudes. And I sure hope the boxing comes into play later. He's undefeated. You know that? Julius is the only senior I'd even consider doing it with. He is so good looking. And then that's also when we first get to see the, those two girls. It's our prom queen, uh, who's very horrible. Colleen? No. Yeah, no. Uh... 
does that call it? Does that suit? No. I don't know her fucking name. Doesn't matter. It's that it's the blonde prom queen, bad girl, and then we got a very like a, a wasted Kelly Hugh, who, you know, obviously she wasn't known at this time, but she was clearly the star. Known for what? You don't know Kelly? Ugh. She was in The Scorpion King as the Sorceress. She was in, she was the voice of Karai in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Nickelodeon cartoon. She was, well, she does a lot of voice work. All right, she just say she does a lot of voice work then. Just say that. Oh, but look, there's something I'm just not remembering. Give me, give me a second. Oh, known for what? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, hold on, I don't want to say the wrong thing because I think she was in an X-Man movie. She's in a lot of things because she's, you know, well She's known. in a lot of things and yet you can't name one. <laughs> Most of it's voice work. Well, name one. I just know when I see her. I just named a bunch of voice work stuff. None that I know. She's in the Book of Daniel. You'd think you'd know that. I don't know that. That's well. What? That's the one under your pillow. You know, the she's one in of... Cradle to the Grave. And she's in she Cradle was... to the Grave. Oh, Ryan. Daniel, Cradle, Cradle to the Grave, Daniel. DMX. Well, you guys know that movie. <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh, she was Lady Deathstrike in X Two. Okay, X-Men see, United. that's all you had to say, guy. I don't want to commit to it because if it wasn't her, I was gonna feel real bad. See, I'm over here, Kelly. Who? Oh, she was also in Surf Ninjas, which is an all-time banger of a movie. Oh, boy. She she was in Strange Days. Oh, oh okay. Did some TV here and there. She was in Harley Davidson and the Marlboro nah, Man. you can stop now. Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> oh, she was in Malcolm in the Middle? Hell yeah. <laughs> a lot of TV work. Sleepy Dogs. She was in Sleeping Dogs? She was. Oh, that's cool. A lot of video game stuff. That's cool. She was China White in Arrow. <laughs> bad name oh, it's bad always name. nice when you like you know there's like a solid like six seven minute segment you can just cut from the episode <laughs> oh she's in the legend of vox machina <laughs> who's she play what's anna ripley oh shit that's a big role yeah so you lay off a of kelly oh, damn that's it. the only part i'm leaving in is when you mention vox machina <laughs> you nerd anywho we love she's kelly. wasted we all, in we, this i was the first one who loved kelly actually you know what she may have been on a crit role episode now that i think about it well, that's because she's awesome. And if she would make sense with all her voice acting stuff, she probably has ran into them and in working. I love a good principal that tells his students they have no futures. <laughs> like the principal tells Wayne. Well, I'm, it, unlike you. Uh, like, yes. Now, what is this movie? What I is this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie that they wrote and then they decided we needed a Friday. We need another Friday the 13th movie. So let's just throw Jason on it. Really? It Were they been... doing like, I don't think they're doing like a Hellraiser thing where they're just shoving Hellraiser into random scripts. This is, this is a are. Jason script. I don't think it is. You could have done any other sort of killer mm -hmm. on here. This could have been April Fool's Day. Yeah. This could have been prom yes. night. It, when did prom night come out? This could have been, it's just, you've, we've changed the location from a, a school auditorium or the woods, and we've just taken it and put it onto a boat. That's it. So yeah. it could be any I mean, generic murder you want. This does not have to be Friday. The only thing that makes it Friday the 13th is the establishing shot at the beginning for who the killer is going to be. Otherwise, it could be any crazy person uh, walking, you know, climbing out of the depths of the, the salty sea onto the boat, or they're already on the boat. It's one of them killing each other. Yeah, I mean, we had better Terror movie. Train was All nine those years ideas would have been better this. movies. So yeah, it easily could have been something else. But this is just classic them wanting to capitalize on a name. Throw Friday the 13th on it. Get Jason in there as the killer. It doesn't have to make sense. We don't have to explain you how we got to New York. You guys ruined my movie about a nice high school trip to New York City. Well, okay, pull Jason out though. Who was going to be the who was going to be the murderer? There wouldn't have I been think. a murder. It was just a nice high school <laughs> trip to New York City. <laughs> It was a. Uh, it was one of those little lighthearted. Yeah, uh, it was gonna be comedy. a rom com. Rom com. There was gonna be singing. Mm -hmm. There was gonna be dancing. And there was gonna be sewer rats. Fucking some Pardu. He's a holy man. I, look, we're trying to talk about everything else because this is just bad. Not as bad as the last. Did one, you though. have any? Let's cut ahead up a little bit. Did you have any moments in this movie that you were like, "Oh, okay, I like this." I I did. Well, I'll have to go through my notes. Okay. So, so there's Dan, go ahead. there's a moment where he's going after I think the prom queen. Yes. And he comes into the bathroom and he punches the glass that has his reflection. Uh-huh. And I, for a, I'm like, oh, maybe Jason doesn't like his reflection. But no, he was just doing that to get the broken glass so that he could kill her with that. It could be both. Yeah, he felt like he needed a weapon. I think it's both. Also, we amped up the 
the mirror breaking in this. I think there's like three different mirrors that break, like for some reason. I enjoyed when Jason's looking through a window and decides instead of just punching it, he's just going to headbutt it to break it. There's also <laughs> a part where he's uh, walking along, like by a mirror, and like the, the mirror's fucked up. So sometimes, like you could see, because it's broken, uh, you can see his reflection. Sometimes he's got a little head, <laughs> and sometimes he's got a big head. <laughs> We all want a little head sometimes. Uh, yeah, got, okay, so let's see. Objects in Mir may be more Jason than they appear. Than they appear to be. Kelly, who and the prom queen go to do some drugs, and uh, what's her face? Uh, God, I always blink on her fucking name. Rennie, because that's a dumb name, that's why. Rennie walks in looking for her dog, because Toby, every time Toby sees danger, he nopes the fuck out of there, which is hilarious. And... She like, eh, whatever, I'm looking for my dog. And they're immediately like, get narking, bitch. Like, she hasn't narked on him yet. But like, okay, well, I hear she has a problem with water. So then Rennie's out there talking to the teacher. And the prom queen runs over and just pushes her ass off the fucking yacht. That's a murder attempt. That is a murder attempt. What a fucking psycho. So either you, your end game there is either you want to kill her so she can't nark. Or she wasn't going to nark, but you just shoved her off the boat. Well, now they already got caught by nark. the principal. Well, he assumed, but then Kelly's like, you wouldn't see me doing drugs. And he's like, oh, you do have like a science scholarship. So, yeah, you're right. You're not one of those ruffians. Uh, but like, yeah, that's a murder. And then she's like down there drowning. And that's great. Does that a lot. <laughs> that was dumb. Also, we get a good shot at Jason and the mask. Why does this brand new mask have the slash damage from the second? No, the third movie in it still. That was like a a thing where he got to keep having that gash in the top of the mask show like, oh, it's been through some shit. This is a brand new mask. This should not have that. I'm uh, like, that's yeah. dumb. Yeah, you're, I mean, the, you're right. The new, I'm always right. The new mask, though, does fit his face a lot better. Like, it doesn't hang stupidly, like, off the sides, like, big and rounded. Like, it curls back and looks more form-fitting. So it looks better, but that just makes no sense. And then he helps that guy in the sauna get some hot, some nice hot rock hard ass. Why is there a sauna on this boat? It's a sick boat. Why is there a fucking dance floor room and there's fucking... I, look, it's a fucking TARDIS boat or something because it's a lot bigger on the inside, I guess. Oh. But, uh, this movie had some better kills. Like him pick, like Jason picking up the sauna rock. It's almost like this was meant to take place at a it. high school. Why would a high school have a sauna? A high school could have a sauna. Not mine. Impossible. Mine barely had indoor plumbing. Think about it, The high school in Stranger Things had a sauna. Man... Everyone had better high schools than me. Did you guys have teachers? Yeah. We also had roofs. Mmm. Shit, man. And when there was a cloud in the sky, did you guys and have to And back go to in my day, get was... this, back in my day, we had bomb threats. Were you making them? No. School's out <laughs> forever. We get uh, Rennie seeing more drowned boy in the mirror, or when she's washing her hands after her perm got ruined by the ocean water, and then she they do a an it where blood's coming out of the tap. Did they? And I'm like, if... Did I just yeah. black out parts of this movie? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is where I'm still like, I think she's seeing young Jason, but also maybe, again, she has a problem with water. I don't know what that issue is. Surely they would have told us early in the movie and not given us a bunch of backstory character development the last fucking 20 minutes that I don't fucking care about. But anyway, if he drowns, why is there all this blood? I don't know. That was dumb. Her perm, though, ruined. I'm pissed about that. Priorities. The principal's getting on to the prom queen and Kelly and be like, look, are you guys back in your rooms? I need to see your projects, your biology project. And I'm like, is he already hooking up with the student? And we go there to her room and then she is trying to hook up with him. But apparently but I haven't even shown you my biology project. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I mean, you stop that. I said, ew. Yeah, it's gross. Look at but him. What? Charles. Oh, I said, yeah, get Charles. it, girl. No, he's gross. Get it. Oh, how dare what you? What do you mean? He's a, he's a very dashing, dapper man. His face. Not good. It's just what God like, gave him, be... Daniel. Jeez, man. <laughs> God, God damn. She opens her robe and then she's drawn the like anatomy, like so the, the inner working of the organs. She did a pretty decent job of some spots. But that, that's why he got close, because, well, like, that's her report. He had to get in close. <laughs> Is he even the she, biology teacher? Uh, maybe. Right? I don't... What? He's, what? Uh, was this one of the principal's awesome teachers? I mean, that's... They're a teacher shortage. You gotta step in. Also, like, 
They've already like graduated. Maybe why are they doing the project now on the cruise? This is should true. He even should he even be in the room at all? No, I said no. There's no, okay. She whips Let's out. talk about yeah. Let's talk about the lack of sufficient chaperones. There's two. It's the eighties. We've already explained it away. And oh no, I uh, uh, oh you got me. You got me again. It's yeah. the eight, it's I don't think the a 90s. male teacher steps foot into that female cl- uh, female room. I think that's how male teachers found their wives in the 80s. Well, that might be true. <laughs> I'm saying it. But this, he, she's not his first choice, okay? He's trying to, you know, obviously he's, examine He's been her grooming homework. this other girl for years now, though. Yeah, his niece. Yeah. Which is also fine in the 80s, I guess. Don't even worry about it. You stay away from her. Everyone had to stay away from her at some point. Everyone well, got Yeah, told. he called dibs. Called dibs. But she jumps his bones and he's like, he's he's like, oh, she's kissing me and laying on the bed. <laughs> and then, and then he's, uh, he's like, wait, get off of me. But we see like a camera peeking in and filming him. And get off of me. What are you doing? This, I am your teacher. This is inappropriate. Oh, you, you're, you're going to be in high school next year too. And then Wayne comes up, and Wayne was like, yeah, we got you. We got this tape right here. Take and the he tape. Does the, take the tape. The teacher doesn't, yeah, do an immediate tape take. Do and then grab. he tosses it to the lady, and then the lady tries to hide it in a robe. Like, he won't come over. Oh, he's like, it. oh, it's like, shit, where did it go? Right, like, you peek a boo <laughs> peek peek the tape. Yes, <laughs> yes, very good, Kitty. Yeah, in reality, though, he would have been like, I'm taking that fucking tape. You guys got no proof that I just, you know, forced that tape away I mean, from you. This whole thing could have been avoided if he had just shut the door. Shut the door. Well, he didn't think he was going to... He went in there with no intention. All right, so he went in there with, with some... Co- the intention that her biology project, she has brought it with her on the cruise. What? That makes no sense. She's going to present, what, him a paper? And she hasn't been able to do this before? It's late. Okay, this is why Wayne is problematic, Daniel, because I don't believe for a second that he knew that was going to happen. I think he was just winning, going down there to be a creeper filmer and just see what he could get, and he just stumbled upon gold. No, I think no, she I'm told him. I'm pretty sure when he's talking to the rocker girl, he says he has to go down there and help the prom queen out, and that's when the rocker girl says, she's, she's just right, using you, when Wayne. Did, when would she have told him that, hey, I'm going to need your help to set up the principal because that other interaction with the principal hasn't happened yet, so there's no reason to set up the principal? There is none. It could have been... No, 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 no. It, it, yes, this yes, is yes, a conversation yes, yes. that happens before they, they get onto the boat. But there's no reason to set him up. There is. The prom queen is trying to get out of having to do her project and graduate. She's trying to set up a blackmail situation. It seems so much harder than just paying someone to write a paper for you. I don't... Uh-huh. Worst chat GPT Page arena the shady. Come on. No, this, this is absolutely something they planned before they even started the cruise. Wayne knew where to go, when to go. Uh, oh, when to go. The prom queen. Oh, oh shit. Go. Oh, shit. Now that's a movie. Eat a man, gain the his power. The prom queen told <laughs> Kelly Hugh that, look, don't worry about him. I've got him taken care of. You know, who? So, no, this is a conversation. They had this plan from the get-go. They're like, we're going to get Charles. He thinks Charles thinks he's in charge, but we're in charge. And then, you know, we got you, Charles. But the t- they kept filming long enough for Charles to be like, stop it. Get off of me. So but maybe the the judge would be like, look, he said no eventually. Here's the thing. None of this matters because that's not why I'm here for this movie. I'm here to watch like people get smashed with a machete. <laughs> well, <laughs> look, Wayne. No, not, Wayne isn't the next victim. Wayne leaves because he shoots his shot at the prom queen. And she's like, oh, well, I don't have time to talk about this now. And just like escorts him out of the room, shuts the door. And Wayne's like, ah, you're an asshole, Wayne. And I'm like, no, Wayne, you're a dumbass. Another mirror breaks. I say something about 14 years now. I don't know what the fuck that means. But at this point, I'm like, Jason's got to be Is that how many years of, of bad his... luck they would have from all the breaking oh, mirrors? Oh, yeah. Two, yeah, two, two mirrors? Yeah, thanks, Dale. Okay. You're the best. We're up to 14 years of bad luck now. Jason's got to be bored because, again, half of his victims don't run. We do another off-camera kill. It's storming again because we're always raining in these. And then we go, we kill the captain with a just a basic ass slit throat. But we all of a sudden put this in a slow mo camera kill shot for the captain. Like, why are we doing this least interesting kill? I guess the least interesting is when we do the head squeeze type stuff and nothing actually happens. It just, oh, I'm dying. But yeah, <laughs> slit his throat. And then it's just like, <laughs> they say that. It's like, <laughs> wait, do, do, wasn't there a movie where like, they did oh. say he's trying, he's killing me? <laughs> He's killing me. Yeah, that was the guy in the basement of uh, 
They're like, run, Tina. He's killing me. <laughs> yeah, that was she part. Doesn't. Was that because, part four? What? A, no, that's not part or four. Part three. Oh, yeah. Four's good. It was the one with part, no, Corey Feldman. The psychic girl. No, no, it's not no, that no, one. no, 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 no. It's Corey Feldman one. Part four. Okay, no, the the guy, the one with Tina, the psychic, the guy she's macking on, he's in the basement, and he gets jumped by Jason, and he's actually surviving a lot of no. blows, and he says, he's killing me, he's no. killing me, and then, oh, you guys can be proven wrong here. We're not. <laughs> that's part that's, that's, four. That's fine. I'll, I'll look it up while we're talking. Listen, <laughs> damn it. This is a good chance for you to angrily send us an email telling you your thoughts of how is this series review going? Is it making sense? It's, it's all bad. running together hey, eventually you think to us. We'll, by the time this comes out, we'll have like twelve listeners. Ooh! And if we could just get hey, ten percent of them, we've got to a, talk we, to we us. Get ten percent. Just ten percent to talk to us. That's one. <laughs> That's all we've we need. We've got at at least over twenty on uh on Spotify. I, I don't know the data on everything else, but like followers, so people that get updated. And I only uh, they only let me make five accounts, so. <laughs> So you got five, I got five, Daniel somehow managed six, so there's four. I'm a hacker. Hey, one of you four, Forget. let us know. <laughs> Which Jason mask do you like? <laughs> this movie sucks. And God, it really is, because there's nothing to talk about, because there, there's just nothing fun. Well, okay, well, let's just skip the boat sinks, right? Titanic. Does it sink? <laughs> How does it do? Oh, no. Well, <laughs> it catches on fire or some, something? So, okay, once the captain and the co-captain, first mate, once they are killed, captain's son, Sean, is with Rennie now because they're, they're going to fast-track that relationship. They're going to be best of friends, best of lovers. Just give them time. <laughs> best of lovers? Best of lovers. <laughs> and they go up to the main deck, and oh, they found all the bodies. Oh, no. Sean has to give a, a little spiel being, there's, there's, oh, there's trouble. There's trouble a-brewing on the boat. Arg. And then they go on a little manhunt, and then some of them die. I wish this movie was better. Did we have any more, like, decent kills on the boat? So No. no. E even the Doomsayer get... just has, like, an axe in his back as he's stumbling around yeah, a corner. That. And no one, because the, the principal still doesn't believe that oh. Jason's a thing. Because he thinks the Doomsayer says it, uh, is the killer, which But might even have been when he the sees the dead script. Doomsayer, he's like, still no Jason. Doomsayer yeah, killed himself like, with the axe in the back. He's surprised later in, in Manhattan when, uh... He like Jason walks up after they already hit him with a car and he's like, you, it's you. Oh, my God. Like, we just hit him with a car, man. Didn't you see him? There was one more uh, amusing kill, at least on the boat. It's when the Kelly Hugh character is running from him and she ends up in that dance hall where like the music's playing. Oh, my reason, God. He's no one's teleporting the, all over the place. Yeah. Well, yeah. So he's uh, she gets in there and the flashing lights and the music's playing. She immediately is just paralyzed. I don't know why this is so flashing disorienting lights. to her. She yeah, she, that's her weakness. Unless she's so like she's uh, staying there. I think it's fun. Like there, it must be a room full of funhouse mirrors at this dance studio yeah. somehow. Because I don't know well, how else you ex unless teleportation. Jason's there now. He's not now. He's eating a burger now. He's having a hot that, dog. Um, and now he's doing pushups. What's now that he's like? The wall. Short teleport spell that just puts you in a random spot. Yeah, I think it's teleport. Yeah, no, tele te teleport. You click where you go. Oh well, then I don't know, but. Yeah, she's in there, the flashing lights, Jason's standing there, he, she sees him, light flashes, he's gone, but then all of a sudden now he's behind her, ninja vanish, and then, <laughs> you know, Kelly Hugh is not going to let the glass ceiling stop her from going up. You can't keep a good woman down. Oh, no, actually, the ceiling did hold. He chokes her up into the ceiling because it's a short ceiling, and then she's dead. But the funny part there was just her being so disoriented by all the lights that she fucking freezes. That stupid death has reminded me of another stupid death that happened on the boat, which was the guy who was like climbing up the pole to get to what teleportation to what I thought was like Jason crow's nest. teleported. Yeah, tele like you you saw how far Jason was away from him when he started climbing, and he 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 was making a pretty good pace, and then all of a sudden Jason's oh I'm he's either like right at the same level as him or above him, so it just takes him so and ch are... chucks him off the boat onto the boat. No 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 he doesn't. He doesn't leave the boat. He gets like Jul spiked through the chest by some by what he yeah, lands so on is, something. There's, yes. Yeah. There's two teleportations for this murder. So they're on like the I feel like the top level of the boat, and the guy's there with Jason, and then he's like "fuck you," runs away. He's down on the next level, but somehow Jason is not only already on that next level, but he's further ahead on the level than the guy. So then the guy's like, "Well, fuck you," and he starts climbing one of the big poles, and he's about halfway up there. Jason's nowhere to be seen. Then all of a sudden, Jason's grabbing him on the back. 
thrown around. So I wanted to see the shot of Jason climbing like a spider monkey. That would have been hilarious. But instead, we teleport. So bad teleportation. Then we got Julius. And this is where Jason does a racist, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Look, because Jason, if he gets his hands on you, he's going to do what he thinks is going to kill you. Julius is down there with the gun on the next level lower. He sees his buddy impaled on something. Jason pops up right behind Julius. And to kill Julius, all he does is throw him off the boat into the water because he assumes Julius can't swim. And that is a racist Jason. That's all I'm saying. And now I'm not okay with Jason. He's a bad man. Don't be a racist. Murder? Cool. Fine. Great. Love it racism that's where i draw the line draw the line because why what he's trying to kill everyone he fucking chucks them from the boat here's how we make the movie better he falls into the propeller no 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 no. because this would have made you laugh if he had done it daniel i guarantee it once we get like it's rennie like creative arts teacher uh, uncle charles sean once they get into the little uh, lifeboat with oars there's, they look up and they see Jason up on the deck looking at him. Uh-huh. He should uh-huh. have immediately jumped off and cannonballed <laughs> right through their boat. Oh, I said I said the same thing. He should have, if not doing that, he should have just like they should have been staring and then they look down and then he's immediately already in the boat with. Yeah, him. That that the boat. He's too. got two he's oars. Got he's throwing yeah. them away. Yeah, yeah, everyone else is dead at that point. The boat is on fire. Even though Jason pulled the uh, fire alarm like a good boy, did he? Yeah, That's oh, he did. He stares at it because there's a fire, and he's like, "I don't, we don't. Fire's not good for boat." He's he's taking the Stephen King pen to the eye at some point. Wayne lost his glasses and shot the fourth crew member that I forgot about. We've we've killed everyone else. So yeah, now we're just like, let's get the fuck out of here. Jason, he's the only one left in the boat, and it's like, great, it's your boat now, and they're rowing away. And then but you're why like, Jason... oh god, there's forty minutes left of this movie. They're still so they're out there rowing. The fucking Principal Charles is still being a fucking ass. <laughs> straight uh, up ass. Straight up ass. They finally see the, the shore, even though the two young studs, Julius and Sean, are doing all the rowing. Everyone else is fucking sleeping. They get excited. They see the shore. They row to shore. How long were they They're out all there? They're triumphant. Not, uh, the same night, I'm guessing. So they couldn't have been too far away. They get there. They the wouldn't have been picked up by Coast Guard or anything? Nah, they're too sneaky. You gotta be sneaky to avoid Jason. They wouldn't want Jason to follow them in the yacht. And he didn't. That would have been better if he had. Oh, my, I thought that's what I, I could remember again, for sure. If, again, you but get I, a Jurassic Park Lost World scenario, and the boat just comes crashing into the harbor. That's what I thought was going to happen. Like, that's how he gets there. It said they go really dumb with it. And they should have just had him teleport there, because we've already established that. But I like that the principal complains, boy, couldn't you have picked a better spot to dock, Sean? Wonderful choice of places to dock a boat, Mr. Robertson. Wonderful. Like... Motherfucker, I just rode all night while you slept. Like, I'm about to put you back in the boat, take you back out there, drop you off at the yacht, and then row back here again. When Jason comes up out of the water, why is he doing Darth Vader breathing? He just swam <laughs> for fucking miles. Are you shitting me? Jason does the need to breathe. <sighs> the fact that we, like, all this stuff Luke. felt... <laughs> Campus. God. The fact that all this stuff like fell out of my mind by the time we get to Freddy versus Jason, where we say water is Jason's weakness, when it turns out Jason's a fucking mermaid, <laughs> right? Like, are He's you got fucking no problem kidding me? With, what he has a problem with is waterboarding. He doesn't like getting sprayed yeah, in the face with water. Maybe he doesn't like he fresh dr- water. This is salt water. Yeah, salty waters. Oh, no, he he's got a little bloat, so he floats. I fucking dumb, 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 dumb. He fucking swims there. He flew. He makes almost the same amount of time as they do in the goddamn rowboat jesus fuck did he swim or did he walk along the bottom like a skeleton you know man? how deep that would have been are you fucking kidding me well, he it, did not wait. he's teleporting along the way though kenny <laughs> okay do you think he swallowed some water while he's down there maybe it takes a while to work that up no i, I think what? it's I, well, I think he just well, it's dumb and it doesn't matter because they don't care they don't care look oh god Oh my god. So we're hey, hey. we're fucking in Manhattan now. Oh I, start uh, spreading the news. Yeah, they're singing <laughs> the so coming happy. today. It's like in they're, New they're York. It's like, oh god. It's a successful school trip at this point. We all made it. And then right as soon as they get off their little rowboat, they meet Muggers, which is an actual, like possibly Hispanic guy. No, and they then a are, white guy they, they are referred to as gangbangers in the credits. Yeah. 
well, they tried to make the uh, the white guy appear a lot more I feel like Latin you need than he was. At least three people for a gang. Two just doesn't seem like a gang to me. I just have an issue of why couldn't they let the white guy be a white thug and not try to make him look and act like a minority? Well, because uh, only minorities are in gangs. You know that? Apparently, because Jesus, that was bad. I I I came up with a term. I'm sure someone's probably used it before, but faux Hispanic. I think you know not really hispanic they just made him look fake hispanic is bad and then they 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 do a robbery they take the the necklace and then they just take the whole girl which if they wanted the necklace and the girl they could have just taken that all together and they say you stay here we got guns man let's go take uh he tries to shoot the dog yeah which that's not cool so that's when toby nopes the fuck out of there again because <laughs> yeah. toby doesn't deal with danger toby ain't dying for none of these idiots <laughs> yeah fuck that so Oh, no, we have to do a public service announcement here. Should you ever be in, like, a similar situation, never go to a second location. You never go to a secondary location, because then they can do whatever they want. They have full control at that second location. The first location, if they're going to shoot you, then they're going to shoot you. Make them do it. Yes. Don't assume that the secondary location is going to be the alley around the corner, because usually it's not. Usually, but also have better friends around you and relatives who actually give a shit whether you're about to be taken off raped and murdered instead of that's Uncle true charles just like um let's yeah. find the cop not let's split not up only, oh and that's not split only up, do you Scoob. have to shoot me before you put that needle in me of random green shit not only do you have to shoot me before i let that was that the happen. secret of the ooze <laughs> yeah was, she was but about you're also to gonna have to shoot me <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna have to shoot me before you let me sit on that couch you um, and dirty I, okay. no so I, I know for a fact you've been on some sketchier couches than that. Th- yeah, but that was your sketchy couch. Uh huh. Can I tell you and how I'm comfortable sure Stabbin' Couch was? And we nicknamed was. that couch the Stabbin' Couch. So Stabbin' Couch was a, a beautiful thing. And how can it be b- both so comfortable yet so stabby? <laughs> it's like a porcupine. They're cute. I like but the, prickly. I like to think uh, that couch when we got rid of it made its way to New York and it's in an alley somewhere to this day. You, it it was the best crevice. Oh my god, because you went straight to hell. Oh god. So look, Jadar hates drugs and rapists and rapists. So one gangbanger's like, hey, I'm gonna leave. You do your thing. Like have fun with her on this horrible couch. And so he leaves, and then Jadar shows up and he picks up the needle, the syringe, and stabs it straight through <laughs> the guy. The the syringe, the needle doesn't even fucking break. That's a strong ass needle. Yeah. And then the fake Hispanic gangbanger comes back and. Starts, like, shooting them, and then we get this really lame-ass face smash into, like, a pipe on the side of the building that's clearly just, you know, a, a shitty and little then, prop. Yeah, and then Jason says, fly free, little one. Fly. Be free. That, he, he, look, Jason needed a second to catch his breath because he got shot a few times. And this is the part where I'm like, was Tom Savini literally the only effects guy worth a damn through the 80s or something? Because we haven't had well, no, cause you got really the, decent you effects Stan Winston. since... You have yeah, Rob Bottin. Rob Bottin, yeah. What? He's but right. he's the only so, one worth the damn who has worked who had, who one time worked on on these series of films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first time. Could we not try to get anyone else? That's what I'm saying. Like, why are they assuming he's the only guy that can do good stuff? Let's go find one of Maybe these the other guys. Maybe the fact that they can't did get another guy. Did Nicotero ever only... do anything with this? Is this before? Right? Is this before Nicotero's time? Well, he was a was he a Savini protege? I can't remember because I thought. Uh, Nicotero did Evil Dead 2, thought. You'll, you'll have to fact check yourself on that. I will. I don't recall. We should do um, an episode on, like, these gore people. We should. We, could, we can do fun things. Yeah, we should do fun so things Julius, instead of this. We should do fun. Oh, God. This was a bad idea. Milk was a bad choice. Julius is now running from Jason, and he goes onto a roof, and I was like, Julius, be careful. Jason climbs really fast. But now I know we're getting to the big scene that everyone really remembers from this movie. It's the boxing match. Because Julius, he never loses. When but did Julius uh, is also they, an idiot. When did They Live come out? <laughs> 88, so a year before this. Sorry, because I was getting some They Live vibes just from how long this fight scene was going on. <laughs> I think they just they wanted to just show uh, Julius just getting in some heckin' good punches. Like, he squares up, he does some footwork, but it's like, you don't have to. Jason's just gonna stand there and take this. He's- he it does. goes on for so long. <laughs> I just keep, but then it's like Julius is getting all tired. I'm like, just maybe. And he's just like, run. hey, maybe. Give me your best shot. Take your best shot. <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, maybe you don't sit there and keep punching the guy in the face who's wearing protective equipment 
maybe you, stop maybe you go for some pot. grapples and you try to throw him off the building. He did some body blows, wearing him down, working the bod. But yeah, take your take your best shot. And that's where Jason remembers he has cartoon strength again. And they just punches his head off. Flies off all the way down into the dumpster. And I'm like, they should have done a shot of the head of the dumpster where he had like one last thing of air. Wouldn't have made sense, but it should have been like, yep, that was a good one. <laughs> that's a good shot. Yeah, it was a pretty good shot. Hey, man. Yeah. Nice shot. And then Sean. <laughs> hey, man. Nice shot. <laughs> Sean finds drugged up uh, Rennie. And I think he should have been like, oh, you did drugs? I'm done with you. Gross. I'm done with you. Wait, wait, wait. You Drugs share a needle with someone? That's Ugh. gross. Cop shows up immediately with the teacher immediately, or the principal immediately points his gun at the other teacher because <laughs> she's going to be pointing at everybody. Might as well. Oh, she's with me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe don't shoot her then. Then we go all get led to the cop car where Julius's head is now somehow levitating in the front of the car. So did Jason jump off the building, go into dig through the dumpster to pick the head back up? Then teleport to the cop car to put the head there and then teleport away. I like that he had to jump off the building and <laughs> end up on the teleporting. teleporting. I, well, he's only, yeah, got, I like, he's only got so many spell slots. Now, the way I seen it in my head is he did a people's elbow off the building into the trash can, like through the lid <laughs> okay. to save himself some time to find, you know, the head. Because first off, he was like, he was like, he put his hands on his hips uh-huh. looking off the side of the building. Uh-huh. He's like, heckin' nice punch, Jadar. Yeah. You did real good. And man, you it went in the dumpster. Did anyone see that? Positive that affirmations. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like how, how, man, what an amazing shot. I bet I could punch someone's head off, you know, 20 times and maybe make it in the trash can just that one time. That's Have awesome. Have the lid closed like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but no one's ever around to see me do cool shit. God. That is true, actually. Yeah. They all die. But what was the head hanging from in the front of the car? I just see there's the head up there. Was it on the like falls. the antenna? You know, that cars used to have the little antenna thingies. Like on the dash? Yeah. Well, not the dash, but like the hood. It, this was in the car. Was it in the car? It was in the car because it dropped on the dashboard and rolled down into the floor. Oh. And it's, I don't think he had long hair or anything that they could have tied around the rearview mirror or something. That scene really confused me. Like, I was, yeah. But lots of things in this movie confused me. But, okay, so now they're in the car, the cop gets killed outside the car, they start driving. I thought Jason was going to teleport to the back seat as they drove yeah. away. Where are, we, where are we going? Where are we going? Can we go back home to Crystal Lake? Yeah. I'm getting kind of home, yeah. homesick. <laughs> I'm getting land I'm sick. I need to go back to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> then Rennie sees, uh, at this point I'm well aware, this is young Jason. He sees him standing out there and then just crashes the car. The car immediately blows up. As they do. Then we cut back to... Yeah, then we cut back to the car in a different shot where it's less blown up. Everyone but the teacher lady gets out. Yeah. Or was Rennie, was it the teacher driving or was it Rennie? It was Rennie. It was Rennie. Yeah, so why did, what happened to Colleen to where she couldn't get out of the fucking car? I don't remember. Or no, not Colleen, the teacher. It's Colleen. Was she not wearing a seatbelt? Okay. I don't know. It's the, it's the 80s. No, I mean, I but don't now, know what happened. Why she couldn't get out of the car. Everyone else got out yeah, of the car. I don't know, they just, it's, I had, then it blows I had, up more. I, at this point... I had like a Kenny during Shark Side of the Moon moment where like I was like blacking out intermittently during this. So that's fair. I can't I can't help you with anything here. <sighs> Look, I needed help after this because I get out of the car and Rennie stares at a puddle. And now we're going to get a fucking flashback to develop some character shit. And it turns out her guardian uncle just shoved her in the lake after telling her about Jason pulls down people who can't swim. And she's like, I can't swim. She did. Like, well, you're uh, going to learn. She, now. Uh, she did a Do Highlander shove. to him. Yep. Yep. It's so pretty today. Yeah, perfect day for swimming. You know, young lady, you've been coming out here every summer for the last three years, and you still haven't learned how to swim. I'll take some lessons this time. I promise. <laughs> now, that's what you said last year. I think the time has come for your first swimming lesson. You don't want to end up drowning like that Borges boy, do you? He never learned how to swim either. He's still in the bottom of this lake. He is not. Yes, indeed, he is. And he's ready to pull down anybody who falls in and can't swim. You're telling a lie. Am I? Let's find out. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, there, she's seen a little Jason in the water, apparently tried to drown her, and I'm just like, what a douche canoe so that guy is. So, is we Jason knew that. a mer creature who, prior to his mother's death, just lived and swam around in the lake? <laughs> yeah, the reason Jadar drowned is because he got distracted by the council. Well, I don't think he drowned. Uh, I fucking... think he's like, you know, I fucking love the water. He just never came he just out never for came like out 10 years. He never came out he fucking loved it. He was eating fishes and, you know, kelp. 
and stuff. Krill? Krill? Big time Krill in that lake. Ah. Uh, and then that's when we get Charles. Charles gets shoved to the ground by uh, Sean because he's like, now you stay away from her. Now everyone has to stay away from her. We've all been told. Do you think that fisherman Charles... guy who did the river monster stuff, like when he would go look for lake monsters? Did he ever pick up a Jason ever, before he he's out fished, of a lake? Yeah, you ever fished up a Jason? Oh, you Ooh. had to. He didn't quit the show until he caught every freshwater fish, and that was one. <laughs> yeah. Well, some, not even necessarily fish. You know, you got some like eels and stingrays and uh, Voorhees. Yeah, of course. But that's where we get Charles, who's like, oh, no, it is Jason. Bitch, we just hit him with a car. You've seen him. We've all seen him. Yeah, dumb shit. And then he, uh, Charles runs into a building upstairs, and then he's immediately thrown out the window because Jason teleported upstairs <laughs> in the fucking building. We lit. <sighs> he they, he so sure bad. does. Uh, and then uh, we get more. Okay, I said something was gross. I don't remember what. Maybe another couch or something. <laughs> and then we get more. <laughs> We get more fucking revelations about shit. And at this point, I'm fucking pissed with the last 30 minute character, like back in time revelation bullshit. I don't fucking care at this what point. I want next? it to end. What happened? There was another flashback after we was had there? the what flashback happened? about her. I don't fucking remember other than me getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was at school and they told me, many your parents died in a car accident. It just seems like everybody I care about, I lose. Then we. we we run into a subway. Jason literally goes through the glass door. I love these New Yorkers They're... don't give a shit. <laughs> and he doesn't give a shit about them. He's like, no, I'm killing you guys. He, they, they, they manage to get onto the subway. In fact, the New Yorkers are just annoyed when the train stops. <laughs> <laughs> right? Classic New Yorkers. They're sitting there. Apparently, Quayton lives. That's some graffiti next to where Rene is sitting. I don't know. Anyway, they're, the train's moving. And then fucking Jason's standing outside the door of the train, like, on in between the cars. Like, how the fuck did he track him down there? Goddamn. So, yeah. And he, they go walking through. The, Jason, annoy, like, pushes one New Yorker. She's like, what the fuck? Like, you sh did a shove on me? Goddamn. What did I do? You <laughs> ignored all these other ones. She probably knew the director or something. And then, yeah, he pulls the brake. That annoys all the New Yorkers. They get off the car Jason gets off the car, he's looking around, and then Sean comes from the top ropes with the people's elbow and knocks uh, Jadar down into the tracks, and then he gets a 6,000 volt electrocution, because you can't, you gotta, you gotta not touch, what is it, the middle track or something? I don't remember. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, it definitely was a thing, and it probably still is a thing on certain types of train transportation. Nah. No, it's 100% a, it's a, a thing. Anywho, I'm like, oh great, Jason didn't really even get to see Manhattan. And then he gets back up. Like, oh, no, he does. But then he goes, like, they get out of there. They're running upstairs. I thought he was going to do a sweet jump out of one of the, like, grates. Ooh. Like, on the street that they're walking by. They don't do that. No. Said he's still standing up there. And I'm like, look, Jadar, just start blasting, man. You got plenty of victims all around you. It's about body count, right? Start blasting? No. Does he have a gun? Yeah, he, well, he had a spear well, he, gun What earlier. he should have at this point is electrical powers. He sh you would think. Well, they go running into a diner. I half expected it to be the diner from Chud. I thought John Goodman was just going to be sitting there. Talk about like, how he never gets any. Yeah. Yeah. Ask, yeah. Keep asking for it. Just uh, never get it. Uh, uh, never get oh, it. We have to watch Chud. Ladies, Chud is so good. Chud the Bud also is a thing. Uh, they're like, there's a maniac chasing us. Lady's like, this is fucking New York, man. There's a payphone in the back. It don't work. <laughs> then why did you tell me there's a payphone in the back? Uh, it's all fine. Because we're they a big city. We don't care. Back. We don't care. Forget about it. Hey, I'm what a, I'm, hey. I'm killing it. Jadar breaks into the diner. Another mirror breaks. He Luthers through the door. Yes. Yeah, he sure 21 did. Years. That's yeah. And they they get out in the back alley. They've trapped themselves in a corner. But hey, thank God there's a sewer open. That's right. It's Teenage so, Mutant Ninja Turtles time. I made a money. Yeah, TMNT versus Jason is going to happen now. We drop down in the sewer. Now, fucking Sean and Rennie are running, and they're running forever in this thing. And this is this is all Manhattan's been. It's just a big, long chase sequence, and it's too fucking much. We want to keep having all these scenery changes. We're just going to keep running. We can run away from Jason for years, man. Just stop, okay? Well, they they run. They encounter a sewer worker who's like, oh, you guys are lucky for running into me. We got to get out of here. The sewer fills with toxic waste at, in 10 minutes at midnight every, every night. Every night Wait! at midnight. <laughs> Why does the sewer ever fill with toxic waste, let alone at midnight every fucking night? And 
There's literally shit sitting down there. There's a bucket of toxic waste. Hey. That is sitting there. You're telling me that doesn't flush away? Anyway. It's New York, baby. Obviously, God damn. The sewer worker gets killed. Sean gets knocked out. And then fucking Rennie, Rennie, Rennie shines a flashlight at Jay's like, yeah, you want me. You didn't Ooh. get me in the lake so, last time. And this time. is you where I went, oh, okay. So that's where the, what is it? Um, what's the game? You're being chased by killers. Resident Evil 3. Oh, you're thinking Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight, where they have the mechanic where you can use a flashlight to blind the stalker. Yeah, but she wasn't trying to blind him. She was drawing attention because she thinks yeah, she's that doing he's it wrong. only after her because he missed his chance to get her when she was younger in the lake. Okay, but... Which is that a... No, that can't be a thing. They're making it a thing. He's got a proje- He's got an astral projection child, Jason, who comes out and grabs people who can't swim. For that to be <sighs> a thing, so she would be... That would have happened like 10 years ago for her. Yeah. But Jason but maybe that's was already, already killing people 10 years ago, so wouldn't be a little boy anymore because as well, previously established, that the, the the 30 years ago, Jason drowned. But maybe he didn't. He was a merman. So that would work. But if he did drown. You age much slower. You subtract 10 from 30, now, you get 20, then you add on whatever age Jason was originally, so then that would be the age that he would have supposedly grabbed her foot when she was in the water. Like 20, well, no, he's 28 or aging. What do you, why is he not aging? Because he's dead. So he's going to be permanently at the. He's mid- not dead. He's walking his, around. <laughs> his, no, he's a Frankenstein's monster. His mental age is still when he died. So when he's out of commission, like he's under there waiting for a little jolt of electricity. All he can do is project himself astrally. But he didn't. And he so didn't die like, as a little boy. It, well, he did because he drowned as a little no, boy. He no, didn't. he didn't drown as a little boy. That's what his mother thought. Well, she's so, stupid. Because. Ginny in part two tells us what if he didn't drown? What if he's just been living in the woods? And that is yeah, very and much what is presented that's what to he us. Was doing. That's what he's look, that's what he's been doing now. No, no, no he did not drown because there is nothing shown to us that to bring him back to life before. Uh, in part look, two, there is no nothing to bring him back to life unless unless the spirit of his mother no. was keeping him dead and uh Eventually we're gonna get a Necronomicon, okay, Daniel? <laughs> look, look, so to be clear. I agree with everything you guys are saying. <laughs> I'm just pointing out how fucking dumb the lore, how inconsistent <laughs> all of this is. It is. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's like they should have just gone full Phantasm where in the Ooh. next movie, like that one was a dream and they just overwrite it. I don't like that. That might it would have made more sense instead of what the fucking the canon on this fucking series literally comes back around and points at the shooter. That's how <laughs> fucked up the canon is. <laughs> how does Jason die in this one? Okay, so he doesn't die from the electricity. Right. He gets back up. He's out there on the top level. The, the radioactive they sludge. Are, they fall oh, okay. back down to the sewer through the diner. Yeah, and then she goes after she distracts him with the flashlight. She goes and finds a, a bucket just sitting there that says toxic waste. She beats on him a couple times with the flashlight. That lid was already loose. Jason's like, well, this chick taunted me, so I better follow her. She throws the acid at him. It hits him in the face. He takes his well, mask off because his face is burning. Sorry, toxic waste, but it's acting like a pretty good acid. We see his ugly face melting into an even uglier face. And then he's like, ah, he does a fucking hilarious, like, scream with the melty face. She runs back, wakes Sean up, says, let's get the fuck out of here. They start climbing a ladder that can't open the gate on it. The toxic waste is going to be coming. We see the lights swaying. Jadar catches up, grabs her by the leg. She's like, hey, let go, let go. And then Jadar realizes something's coming. He's like, oh, shit. And then all the toxic waste comes flooding through there, sweeps down Jadar. He's like laying there. Ah, don't let me drown, mommy. We hear that for some reason play like there. He starts puking water, which apparently Kane Hodder actually puked on command. Like, it wasn't a special effect. He drank like a couple pitchers of water. And just fucking puked it back out. He's a professional. Why we, yeah, why we needed that. I it have made no, no sense idea. for the moment, so I don't know why we did it. And also, he just swam out in the open ocean and kept up with a rowboat. Drowning was not his concern. It's the radioactiveness it's, of, the, of right. the sludge. So, so the don't let me drown, mommy, like, that it makes even less sense. Fucking stupid Would movie. radioactive stuff kill you immediately, or would that cause, like, cancer problems 20 years down the line? Depends on your exposure. How many rads of radiation you get at, in one dose? It can How many rads? start melting you. Eh. It can melt I mean, you. Shit, Chernobyl. Oh my god. Yeah. I, yeah, but 
He's got to open source and stuff, so it's going to happen quickly. Plus, this is New York toxic waste. They do have things way worse than there. Chernobyl, you know for that? sure. Yeah, so he, yeah, he should sure. just be like uh, wax crayons at the bottom of the sewers at this point. But instead, yeah. he's a baby he, boy. He's an he's yeah, baby this movie boy. can't get any stupider. He's a naked 10-year-old boy. <laughs> okay, so if... Little boy, baby boy, tiny and, and boy. Is he alive right there? Because they just leave him. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you can't. Ex- tr- good luck explaining that one to the cops. At least the other ones you had I don't a mass think the killer cops you could point to. No, you bring him out and be like, hey, we found this kid in the sewer. Don't ask why we were in the sewer, but here, have this kid. Maybe rehabilitate him or something. He likes stabbing people. Here, take him. Whatever. I- <clears throat> so dumb. Well, they get out because apparently we can open the grate <sighs> now or something, I guess. And you know who's back? Fucking Toby, heckin' good dog. Not for dangerous shit, but he's good in other reasons. They okay, found him, so you. So. You know how in Star Wars, Anakin, yeah. when he comes back, I, like, as a I know where you're going, ghost, and I like it. He appear, he doesn't appear as the old Darth Vader. He appears as the young Anakin because that's <sighs> the moment when he basically that version of him died, and he went to the dark side. Right? Okay. So, so you're 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 doing the uh, the Lucas edit. So for Jason as a child, he does die as a child but he is now force projecting himself his darth vader self is the jason Voorhees. but that doesn't that doesn't work because i don't how think dare you has, how dare like, you blow holes in this i mean again it Lucas doesn't work because jason never died that yet so and at that point the force ghost was still an old man uh, not 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 the versions i'm seeing yeah we didn't get uh we didn't get hayden panettiere ghost until after uh Lucas went through and changed the special effects. And I know his name is not Hayden Panettiere. That's a whole other lady. (laughs) (laughs) I have no idea what you're talking about, but let's just assume that it was the original intent that it wasn't. You you only come back as the force ghost, you know, pre-corruption. All right. So either Jason is start out as a boy, did not well, drown, for- but that created the evil me, in I mean, him. I feel like I should tell you how they become a force ghost, because obviously you don't fucking know. Nope, no me. clue. You got to go through. Oh, he hasn't you read gotta the books. Throw, Go through special training on a planet, on a special Jedi force ghost planet. You go through special training so that you can live after you die. You're an asshole. That'd be the first thing I did. Like, don't teach me anything else. Get me here. There's yeah, a Clone what- Wars episode where Yoda does it, and then Yoda tells... Obi-Wan about it because apparently Qui-Gon had told told Yoda about it because Qui-Gon had already done it. Yeah. But where's Qui-Gon? He's, you see he doesn't Force want Ghost to come Qui-Gon. back and do uh He shows up in other things. Just not there. Yeah, but he doesn't oh. he doesn't want to do live action stuff. Liam Neeson's like, ah, they're kinda they're watering it down. No, man. but Liam Neeson came back for animated stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well now it's too much. He doesn't want to do a live action one. That's neither here nor is, there. This movie's over. Is this movie better or worse than part seven? That's better than seven. Okay, let's get that out of the way. <sighs> I wasn't bored, and I didn't completely hate my life the entire time. Is this movie possibly the stupidest one? This is the stupidest one. I Oh, mm, yeah. And not in well, a fun way. Well, it's sometimes it's fun. It's not fun. Like, this movie's not fun. Take a shot every Someone time. Someone got Jason their head teleports. literally knocked off their shoulders. That was pretty that fun. Is, that is fun. That is fun. Yeah. Did you, did you find out anything important while we were talking about that? Greg Nicotero did work on evil dead 2 he wasn't the main special effects guy at that time but he was part of the special effects crew because you know i'm sure the audience as well as myself also noticed that you were like silent for a while there and i'm like i bet he's doing something oh, that's, I wanted that's to why know i'm what. silent a lot of the time too is i'm just doing research yeah you're baiting we have the camera on like ah oh, toby's back oh who cares Look, one good script change, though, was apparently uh, originally when Jason made it to the dock, he was supposed to kick the dog after it started barking at him. <laughs> but he'd actually, he uh, he didn't like that. That would have been. He thought that was going too far. That would have been so funny. Well, he didn't want to get a phone call from that guy saying, like, your daughter kicked my dog. Daughter kicked my dog. Your daughter kicked my dog. Daughter kicked my dog. Your daughter kicked my dog, and I'm calling you about it. You don't remember that old little uh, prank call? Thing. it's iconic i'll i'll put the link up later this is the first one to be at new line cinema after box office disappointment with paramount they sold it to new line and then they uh oh, okay no so this is the last one with paramount right so the thing you just said was not true was so this did so bad that they sold off and there's not a they're with new line for the next three sequels and then the remake is back at paramount which explains why it was always well part of the reason why it was always kind of a pain in the ass to get all, all these together in one collection. Yeah. 
But there's way more legal stuff that goes into this series. This, this is a complicated series. I wish off just more work had gone into the scripts and you know, just think about it for ten more minutes. Yeah, <laughs> really, just <laughs> just, or, just ten more minutes. Just ten more minutes, or have someone who reads it who's willing to say this is dumb. You know, you don't always want a yes man in your room. You want you want your mom who's there to crush your dreams you want someone and tell you to, you should have you're wasting your life you. with this. You should have went and been a doctor. Why are you doing why, this shit? Why weren't you a Such doctor? a disappointment. Yeah. Such a well, this is your still, Jason Voorhees this is, script is bringing great shame it. to our family. Well, we're still cranking these out every year. So this is, again, a, a year between it. the last Absolutely. two. And unlike when we had the third movie, which was a fucking dud, and then they took two years to come back to what I thought was a fantastic fourth movie, you guys didn't love it as much as me, but I loved fourth it. Fourth is good. But then we go back to yearly releases and the quality starts dropping. And I'm like, boy, these get more fun later because they get fucking stupid. But no, they've just been stupid. They get fun when we go to space. I don't I'm trying to remember if anything happens in the next one that I truly love. Like, I remember the head punch off scene from this one. And I remember it always being on the fucking boat. And I remember all the excessive teleportation. That's what I always remember about part eight. Jason goes to hell. The only thing I think I remember from that is the nod to like trying to work towards a Freddy versus Jason thing. Like we have a, a glove at the end, I think, if I recall. Yes. The Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger glove. But that's all I remember about Jason goes to hell. Because if I recall, Jason goes to hell. He gets on a boat. Then he's on a boat for like 90 minutes. And then there's like 10 minutes of hell at the end. Wait, we're doing another boat? No, I was just fucking with you. Jason oh. takes Manhattan. Jason goes to hell. It's you, you think there's going to be a lot more hell. Also, how about this? How about Jason gets to hell? Because now that he's out taking Manhattan, he wanders down the wrong alley and he runs into a certain person named Spawn. <laughs> and then we have a Spawn <laughs> versus Jason movie. I don't think Spawn was created yet. I don't know. Spawn created. I'm going to say, nine, also, I'm gonna say 93. York. Okay. This movie, better than the last one, part close. seven. Better than part three. But that's oh, all are we I doing can... our rank? Are we doing rankings again? Yeah, I'm gonna go one, four, five, six, two, eight, three, seven. I'm gonna agree with where you just added that in on my rankings as well, because again, it's the bottom two for me are three, then seven. So the bottom three will be eight, three, seven. I don't remember how I had the other ones. I'll have to go back and listen to what I said, because at this point, this is all a fucking blur of just big nasty ass. Like seriously, I want to be like Toby. And just run away before I start this next movie and wait till the danger's over. Then I'll come back when we're done recording these. Mm. Mm. I want to be Jason so I can get hit in the face with Toxic Sludge. So I can turn into a little boy. So I can fly far, far, far away. I kind of felt like you were going with the fly far, far away when you said turn into a little boy. But that makes no sense because she said a bird. But for some reason, I seen your face go all Forrest Gumpy on me. <laughs> so I could turn into a little... <laughs> A little, a little <laughs> New York fish, so I could swim through the sewers and swim far, far, far away. You guys, remember when uh, Godzilla the... took Manhattan? Hello, horrible people. It's me, your toxic waste manager, Ryan, letting you know that there is light at the end of this tunnel, and that light has a name. Friday the Thirteenth, Part Nine. Jason goes to hell, or as we like to say, past the slug. Now, before we get out of this sewage tunnel. Let me take this moment to remind you to subscribe and help get other people out of the sewage tunnel too, like your friends, your family, and the other strangers who have wandered down here. Send us a message on Twitter or X or whatever the, whatever the hell it's calling itself nowadays on Instagram. And you can also send us an email, leave a comment on an episode, shoot flare guns into the sky, whatever rattles your cage. Oh, do you hear it? I hear the sewage coming. Oh man, don't let us drown, mommy. Oh, God. Well, well let's well, get away from this fucking horrible thing. I, I, as always, been your horrible host, Kenny, who's taking a Manhattan-sized shit on this series. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Daniel. <laughs> I'm, I'm your Taco Bell Chihuahua dog in the sewer, Ryan, I guess. <laughs> We'll see you tomorrow, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs>